I'm sorry, I don't know that I eat burritos. Yeah, baby. So today we are going to show you a photo of a celebrity that has gone crazy viral. Of a celebrity. There's so much like every other day that comes out about somebody. <laughs> like I honestly wouldn't even know. Oh yeah, Justin Bieber being a monster eating a burrito like a devil. Justin Bieber eating a burrito sideways. Wow, I didn't even... <laughs> I had no clue. Who the f eats a burrito sideways? He's just so freaking famous that like a picture of him eating a burrito sideways literally will go viral. What's going on with the world? I've done that before. It's been like too big to do the other way and so you just gotta like munch at it. Is that even Justin Bieber? Yeah, it is because he's got a mustache. I'm gonna say yeah, it's definitely him. Okay, I heard about this a little bit but I didn't actually see the photo. I know it's fake though. So that has already been ruined for me. So we have more to show you on this in a second, but that was a photo of Justin Bieber eating a burrito in what many believe to be a strange manner. It is a odd way of eating, but hey, whatever. After this photo was released, it was posted to Reddit where it started to take off. People started creating crazy memes and questioning Bieber's eating habits. People are just so bored. Let him eat the burrito however he wants to eat it. I mean, it's a free country, who cares? There are even news reports covering the story. So we have some memes and news reports to show you now. Okay, well. The news is a little ridiculous. Breaking news, Justin Bieber eats a burrito like an idiot. Justin Bieber thinks burritos are harmonicas. That's crazy, man. Stuff just takes off. <laughs> Justin Bieber has been the butt of the jokes since the start of his career. So this is just another one to add on there, and this is hilarious. Does Justin Bieber not know how burritos work? Mm, apparently not. No, I don't think he does. I was never schooled in the art of burrito eating. I have like no idea why this is going so viral. It's so dumb. I don't really see like the harm in it. Like I think it's like regular. It's just so crazy that people are just really giving him like sh for this. I always ask people what they would do if their date opened a burrito and went at it from the middle and everyone says that there's no way anyone would do that. I don't think I would necessarily walk away from the date. I would definitely have a bad first impression. But like if they were cute, I'd stay. <laughs> he could eat the way he wants to eat it. I mean, he obviously got a rise and a reaction out of half of America. If I had gone to have burritos with my wife as our first date and she ate that, there would not have been a second date. So now we're gonna show you some clips of the news coverage of the story. This, this might piss me off because this really shouldn't be on the news. Starting with Justin Bieber. ABC Igniting News. Yet another firestorm of Igniting yet another firestorm of controversy across this the This is so universe. stupid. So how do you eat a burrito? Not like this. They're roasting that this man with his music playing in the background. I'm sorry, I don't know that I eat burritos. Be, this is a photo of what appears to be JB chowing down on a burrito like it's a corn cob on Memorial Day. <laughs> and if you're not offended, you're not American. Yeah, he's not. I mean, yes, that's correct. He's not American, he's Canadian. The more I, I hear them talk about it, the more ridiculous the entire situation becomes. So after all the commotion around this image, there was a video that was released. I hope this is a joke. I hope this is all just a big joke. So that you, maybe from under, yeah, like cradle it. What? That is so oh, Who, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <sighs> Gotcha. Wow. <laughs> yep. That photo of Justin Bieber eating a burrito sign oh, whoa. was completely staged. It and wasn't Justin Bieber. We are the ones that did it. I've we seen these guys before. Like they do the videos before, where they like put a point on a map and then they go there. But yes, theory people, they're like great. We stumbled upon Brad Souza's Instagram, the uncanny Justin Bieber lookalike. His twin, his doppelganger. Recover. Justin Bieber lookalike. He's document. not really Justin Recover. Bieber. We wanted to prove a point that staging a story as goofy as it was can be done much more easily than most people can imagine. And it works. So our plan was simple. Fly Brad out all the way from Canada to LA to pose as Justin Bieber doing unusual things. No f***ing way! So they orchestrated the whole thing just to show people that you're stupid. Yep, I love this so much. Alright, we've been brainstorming ideas. What's the whole meaning? What if he's caught doing like really weird stuff, like eating a burrito sideways? 
hilarious. We only had Brad in LA for two days, so the first day was dedicated to make him look as close to Justin Bieber as we possibly could. So we're gonna need wow. We're gonna need long sleeve. We're gonna need hands, right? Because JB's got like leg tattoos and cover up his arms and legs. So. This makes so much more sense now. <laughs> no, okay. See, exactly. I told you. It's a wig. That's not his real hair. You're trying to think of something that would offend the internet. That's Justin Bieber! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hold it like so that you Yeah, like cradle it. And it's not even him. <laughs> the whole thing was staged, bro. Our viral strategy was simple. Send out the video and photo to as many blogs and newspapers as we could find. I think we have either two objectives, either getting a bunch of views on one of these links or just getting it published in one of these like gossip websites. I think we should find also Justin Bieber fan pages. They are like Oh, that's a good point, the fan pages. And we just checked the subreddit and it is number one. It is number one. I, I hate that, that this worked. I'm <laughs> mildly infuriating. Mildly infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> that those are perfect words. Wow. What? This is the text I got from Darren this morning. You're on paper mag. The most paper mag? Okay. <laughs> just went down. E news. Posted on the Oh Instagram. my god. <laughs> Are you ready? It's getting out of control. It's everywhere. Taylor sending me all these links. Oh, this got big and, big and serious. Just become a Twitter moment, which means it's at the top of the news. Oh my god. Why is it going so crazy? Like, this just shows you how much we care about, like, celebrities. They're calling. Hey, hey, Erica, it's Connor. Let's start from the beginning. What day did you take the photo? Is he, is he talking to Access Hollywood? No! <laughs> Week. I think it was last Friday. It was last week. I think it was last Friday. Uh, I was just hanging out in West Hollywood Park. Me and my friend. I felt cheated. What do you say to everyone trying to prove Nobody that thought to, to call up Justin Bieber's yeah. publicist? People online think that it's a setup. What do you say to that? That would be crazy. I don't. I don't know even know why people <laughs> would think that. Like the whole. This thing is like funny as hell, man. He's a trailer. good liar. <laughs> Eating a burrito <laughs> sideways. A lot of people are questioning whether it was Justin Bieber. It definitely, it definitely was him. I think the internet has spoken on that. Cheers. Thanks. A genius argument. It's like, yeah, Access Hollywood, who would waste their time staging a fake photo of Justin Bieber? They'd be such losers, and then they did it. I want to hear what Justin Bieber has to say. He's like, whatever, you're just making me more famous. I don't give a shit. The world is so deceiving, and it scares me. We're going to show you a video of Justin Bieber's manager, Scooter Braun's response to all this. Oh, Scooter! I saw from the Never Say Never documentary. We've got something super quick to tell you. <laughs> okay, first of all, I know what he looks like. <laughs> oh, we figured, we figured. Okay, number two. I found it very amusing because I had so many people hitting me saying, why is your boy eating a burrito like this? <laughs> oh, good. I'm so yeah. glad he responded the this best, way. The best part is how I figured out it was you guys. I decided to put it up on my Instagram for one minute and one minute only with a little caption pretending like I thought it was him. For one what? minute. <laughs> Within 30 seconds of posting it and taking it down, your manager hit me. <laughs> you can't break a prank, sir, but I'm gonna play along. I'm not gonna say anything because it's really funny. Amazing. <laughs> I love that. Everything's just some good fun. That's nice that they played along. It's a roller coaster. It's, like, it's got an arc. It's got like th three act structure. It's a lot. I'm, I'm emotionally wrecked. Now we can't let you go. Okay. Before I eat a burrito. Seriously? Before we have you bite into a burrito sideways. This is sacred. First of all, I've known how to eat a burrito. Okay, I'm Mexicano. We learn how to eat burritos out of the womb. This is so funny. What kind of burrito is it? I don't feel different or weird. I feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't. <laughs> Blast me, I could cry. If you have a burrito, you can hold it this way, you can hold it this way, it doesn't matter, you can be on the go. You need two hands for this. Yeah, baby. Mmm, right there. Bring it out. So apparently this was all a prank orchestrated in order to prove a point by YouTube channel Yes Theory. Yeah, I had seen them before. They're doing a lot of really fun stuff on their YouTube channel. Yes Theory, who have over 2 million subscribers, wanted to stage a story in order to prove how easy it is to spread fake news. Oh, interesting. They had a point to it. Okay. Typically, Yes Theory's channel focuses on videos showcasing the team doing outrageous stunts and pushing themselves to break boundaries. They even challenged Will Smith to bungee jump out of a helicopter, which Will Smith accepted. Oh, that was them? 
That's cool. That's really cool. What do you think about the fact that they were able to pull it off this way and confuse the entire internet? That's insane. I mean, already things on the internet can can go viral like wildfire, you know? Um, but a lot of times it's difficult when you are planning to try to make it viral. What they're doing is not anything that we haven't seen before. You can do just about anything stupid on the internet and, you know, it's popular for the week. Their point is important, but I do feel like, at least me personally, I'm very critical of everything I hear. This is just so in, like innocuous that I was like, why would I be critical of it? They already have a really big network, as is, and they have managers and they have PR people, so I think it's easy, easier for people like them to spread something. Well, Philip DeFranco also covered this story on his YouTube channel where he brought up an interesting point that as fun as this prank was, it shows just how easily fake news can spread. Yep, absolutely. If Philip DeFranco was a fan of it, then I'm a fan of it because it's true. It's fake news is a serious problem. And oftentimes, many people read headlines and assume they're true without fact checking or following up on the whole story. As an adult in 2018, do you honestly ever find yourself just repeating something you read without knowing the full story first? Yeah, absolutely, all the time. I feel like if you see it in headlines, you're like, oh yeah, I heard about that, so it must be true. Yes, I have. I absolutely have repeated something that was just a headline that I didn't go into. And, uh, and I realize how stupid that is, but I think a, a lot of us do. I'm always super conscious of, I'll see a ridiculous headline, but then I'll click on and see one, where the website came from, who the author was, but then also where they're getting their sources, because then otherwise you're gonna get fooled. I make a really conscious effort to not do that. Part, honestly, partially because of Philip DeFranco. I watch him a lot. And, and you just try to get the full story in both sides before you start speaking on it to other people. Finally, with everything said and done, was all this commotion really worth it over a burrito? Yes, absolutely. Because you just don't eat burritos that way. And if we let that go, then what other kind of chaos will we create in this world? It was a good prank to prove a point about how fanatical this society is and how you know, lazy-minded we can be. I'm glad that they were trying to promote the idea that fake news is a real problem and people can just believe something. So, kudos, they're doing the right thing. Although, I still feel like an idiot. So, f them. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode of Adults React. And shout out to Lucario007 and TGZ. If you want to catch the next episode of React, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hi guys, JC here, producer here at FB. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, but also check out the React channel to see our reactors gaming, competing, and so much more. Thanks guys, bye.